Today we're gonna make spice roasted butternut squash. It's a super easy and healthy way to prepare butternut squash for any night of the week. You can make large batches for meal prep or a small batch just for that night. I love to pair this with pork and chicken. Um, it's really great as a side dish for Thanksgiving as a healthy alternative to maybe some other more fun options. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new and delicious recipe. Let's get into it. So first step, breaking down our butternut squash. Choose a butternut squash that feels heavy for its size, right? You pick it up and you're like, dang, that's light. You don't want that one. It's been sitting around. It's lost its moisture. That's sad. You want a nice heavy squash. The other thing that will help will be a nice heavy knife. So um, it'll do some of the work for you, not all of it, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna cut off the tush, and then I'm gonna cut off the top, okay? And then I am actually, I do this a little different than other people. Some people like peel it from here, but I find that to be harder. So I like to kind of cut off the bulbous end, and then I cut off, you know, then you have like the stem and then the bulb. Um, and I find it easier to work with them separately. So the thing about butternut squash is they get like a little slimy when they're cut and exposed to air. So you just kind of have to be aware of that. Um, so this is part of why I find it easier to peel kind of the two pieces separate. So I like to kind of hold one end and then I just kind of peel um, with my Y peeler away from me. It's a lot easier than trying to use, you know, the other kind of, you know, peeler shape or, you know, peeling towards me. Okay, now then we'll flip it over and we'll do the same thing the other direction. Now, it's a little bit trickier because this side obviously is a little slippery because we've already peeled it, but you know, you just kinda go in small sections. Okay, here she is, section peeled. Now we are going to Peel this before we slice it open. You don't have to. You could, of course, uh, do it the other way, but I find it easier just kind of work again, peeling away from me. Um, and I kind of peel almost like an apple in a way. Most of the time, if we're being honest though, I just ask my husband to do this because my carpal tunnel. <laughs> Love you, babe. All right. Okay. Boom, the bulb part is done. See how easy that was when you divide it into two um, and you're not trying to hold and wrestle this whole big thing. Uh, we are going to split this in half and then scoop out the seeds. You can roast these seeds. I don't love them, but that's just me. So just take a spoon, you know, a large spoon is good. And then just kind of, you know, almost like a melon baller in a way just kind of work your way around and kind of pop out that seedy section. So the other reason why it's nice to cut it like this is that you then you need to cut this anyways. So I find it a lot more stable and a lot safer to do when there's a peel on it than when it's all slippery and slip sliding around, right? So this one, I'm gonna do kind of like large dice, like so big cubes. Um, so I find the easiest way to do that is to kind of cut my tranches from the fat, this big fat part like this, right? Boop. And then you've got yourself, you know, your kind of slabs. Um, and this guy is a little bit hefty this way, so I'm gonna cut him down, even him out. Of course, some are gonna be smaller than others and they're gonna roast faster and that's fine. So you're gonna then take each of these sections and put the flat part down and then you're gonna cut kind of basically the size of square that you want. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna cut that here, and then you're gonna go back and you're gonna cut squares or cubes, whatever you call them. Technically they're cubes. All right, like that, right? And then you're to repeat that with all of the rest of your squash, at least this section. Just be aware of where your fingers are. Always be safe with your knife. Yep especially with something as slippery sometimes as butternut squash. 
and then we're gonna cut these. Now you can cut these differently and bake them on a different sheet. You can cut them like I do my acorn squash and kind of like, you know, like this um, and bake those kind of sections. Um, or you can, which you know what I'm going to do for the salad, indeed. So I'm gonna do that, but that means that you need to cook them separately, right? You can't um, just combine them uh, with like two different shapes and two different sizes. Like that's not cool. Uh, normally when I'm doing this at home, I will do this, I will do it the same way. So you can, whatever you find easiest, if you find it easiest to stand it on its end, just know where your fingers are, okay? That's all I can say about that. It's just be aware of your fingers. Um, and then you just go back and you slice your cubes. All right, now, butternut squash. Um, we are gonna season them with a little bit of sage and a little bit of rosemary and a teeny pinch of cinnamon just for like that little extra je ne sais quoi. It's like gives it a little, like, it doesn't make it sweet or taste uh, not savory. It's just um, a little bit of interest, if you will. I usually do about, you know, a tablespoon or so um, of each. And, you know, if you like sage more or something like that, then you can use, of course, you can of course use more of it. So of course we're gonna do this, I'm gonna go roll through this real fast, but we are gonna shove all the little ones inside the big ones, and we are going to chiffonade. Take those little bundles, roll it up, and then slice. Just slice down, and this is, this is chiffonade. So I'm gonna do this with all of them. Now, um, if you want to leave the strings, you can. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of chop back the other direction and just break those up a little bit so you get you don't get like big strings of sage in your uh, roasted vegetables. You get like little little pieces that are manageable and delightful. Um, just personal call. So I'm going to go ahead and put about a tablespoon between the two. Okay, great. And then we're going to do rosemary. All right, so I like hold it and then I pull it down against the grain essentially, and then pick the top small soft pieces off. Um, and now I love rosemary. So I, I go a little heavy on the rosemary, but you know, again, this is, this is savory. This is to your taste. It's, it's whatever you like, um, and that's what you should do. And then we're gonna gather it, and we're gonna, just gonna chop it, right? Um, there's no use being, oh my gosh, persnickety about it. Um, you know, it's not that serious. All right, nice, done, beautiful. Um, and then just go ahead and kind of separate those between the two bowls or one bowl if you only have one. Um, and then I'm just gonna, you know, all right. And then let me get rid of my cutting board and I will check right back in. All right, so. For this amount of um, squash, I'd probably use about a tablespoon of olive oil. Um, I like to add it just a little bit at a time. Um, so that's it's about a teaspoon. And then I will add my salt. And if you want to put some you know, fresh cracked pepper on here, that would also be great. And then just, I'm going to put it in my hand first. Um, and then just like the tiniest little pinch, right? Just a tiny pinch and then we're gonna kind of toss that and you can see that it looks still a little bit dry so I'm gonna put a little bit more olive oil but first I'm just gonna get this kind of light pinch of cinnamon on there okay and then we're gonna do a little bit more olive oil you want enough so that your your um, squash isn't dry in the oven technically don't need it um, but it just helps a little bit with that browning um, and to, to make it, you know, kind of more moist. So again, so give it a toss. And then really the best way to tell um, the seasoning is literally to pick it up and look at it. And if you see little bits of cinnamon um, and a little bit of salt and it looks nice and shiny but not wet and oily, um, and then a little bit of cinnamon on there, a little bit of a little bit of spices or um, herbs, then you're done, right? Now you know you've done it. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and just kind of spread that out on our baking sheet. You do wanna make sure that it is, you know, it has enough space or they'll steam. 
uh, rather than kind of brown nicely. And we do want a little bit of browning to happen here. So go ahead and just give them, give them the space that they deserve. If you need two baking sheets, put them on two baking sheets. And then I've got my oven pre preheated to 350 convection. Um, so I'm gonna pop these in there um, and they're gonna bake, I mean, around 20 to 30 minutes, really depends on how big your chunks are, where you put it in there, what else is baking. Um, you're gonna bake them until they're soft and tender and hopefully a bit golden brown. All right, our squash are out. Um, I baked them in the bottom, so either baking them in the top or the bottom will help with that browning. You can see I got some nice, beautiful brown bits. I kind of tossed my sheet pan to mix them up um, so you can see that there's like, you know, the, these are the, on the top and then on the bottom is like a nice golden, um, I mean, I guess it's just a nice roasty toasty brown. So they're done when they get that nice little golden brown and then they're soft and tender. Um, if they're out of season, then they almost never get to be soft and tender. So again, like you kind of want to just make sure that you um, have picked a good one that hasn't been sitting around too long, hasn't dried out too much, um, and is in season. So anyways, which is all winter long. So yeah. anyways, it's time to dry, <laughs> which is perfect because it's lunchtime. Who shall I choose you? Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Wow, what the perfect perfect golden bottom bear. What? All right, here we are. Gosh, she's perfection. Can you already tell? Mm, so soft, so tender. It's like almost melts in your mouth. And you've got like those nice herbs and then like that browning, that little bit of crunch in the brown bits. And then the inside is just like super concentrated and like luscious. It's just like a little sweet because it's butternut squash and butternut squash is a little bit sweet uh, and it has like that just really beautiful kind of like <sighs> savory deliciousness yes i know it was a weird phrase but it fits here these are also phenomenal with my mustard glazed pork chops really delightful the pairing of the squash with a little sweetness of the squash with the pork is just um, also delightful with chicken uh, or turkey. It's an easy, healthy side dish for Thanksgiving. Um, you can also just kind of like use the leftovers in salad, which is what I do. Uh, I make like a nice winter squash salad. Um, to I'll drop a link to that below. And yeah, so delightful. <sighs> I have so much squash. <laughs> 